Hello, I'm Dylan, the Flojo Product Innovation Team. Today I'm going to show how to change the stain name in Flojo. Normally, the stain name is decided when we're acquiring data with the acquisition software on our cytometer, and we can choose the name for our stains then and set it and write it to the FCS file. But sometimes we get to Flojo and we're looking at the data in Flojo and realize that something's wrong with the stain name here. We were going too fast when we were acquiring it, actually named something wrong, now we don't like it. For instance, here in Flojo, I see here that this parameter here is CD300. That probably doesn't make sense. I really wanted this to be CD3, but I accidentally hit the zero twice. Darn. Well, I can change that here in Flojo and make it look right in my final analysis. So the way we do that, we go up here to the tabs and go to the configure tab. Then we go over to edit columns. There's a lot of options for columns on this left hand side here, but luckily there's a whole little section for the different stains. I'm gonna to have to remember what stain was associated with the CD3 parameter. Luckily it's this one, I know. Add the column, press okay. Now you can see there's a whole column with my stain name for the AX700 detector. So here's the stain name, CD300. If I just click on it, I just clicked on this part here, I can change the name that way. Just delete the two zeros, now it's CD3, perfect. Unfortunately, though, it's named wrong for all my samples, so if I want to quickly apply that name change to all the samples in the group, that's very easy to do. All I have to do is go to my Workspace tab, go to the keywords, hit Copy Value to Group, and now they're all CD3. Perfect. So if I go ahead and open this here, you can see now it says CD3, exactly how I want it. So that's how you change the stain name in Flojo. See you next time.